Now to an amazing discovery and a first of its kind right here in Perth. Researchers have uncovered a link between facial masculinity and autism. Joining me now is Sayed Zulkan and Galani from the University of WA. Good morning to you, Sayed. Good morning, Tracy. Talk us through what you've discovered. Oh, well, this is an amazing discovery. So what we did was to analyze the tip, uh, faces of non-autistic kids, first of all, to see uh, what is the difference between the 3D faces of boys, uh, primary aged boys and girls. And then we trained a machine learning algorithm that would do the same for autistic kids and non-autistic kids. And the results were amazing. So what we found is that the kids with autism are more masculine both boys and girls than their non-autistic counterparts. And what made you look into this, uh, this facial recognition and the link to autism? Uh, we at UWA are carrying out a collaborative research between computer science, psychology and with Telethon Institute on 3D faces of adults and this was the next step to do it for the children, uh, 3D faces of kids. And this study has focused on primary age children, is that correct? Yes, yes. And obviously development of uh, 3D technology has made this study possible. Oh yes, it's very difficult to find this, these results from 2D photographs because when 3D, uh, using 3D faces you can, f you can calculate the distance on the surface of the face. And can the technology just get better and help you diagnose autism earlier do you think? Oh yes, we, that's what we are aiming at, to try to diagnose uh, autism as early in the age as possible. Yeah, how important is it to diagnose uh, autism early? Um, see, this, uh, the, the technology that we have developed can raise a red flag for the parents mm. and who can then go to a clinic and get a clinical diagnosis. But it's very important that this is diagnosed as early in the life so that an early intervention can be started which could improve the life of these yeah. kids. Yes, yeah, sure. And I know it's a study, so what's next for, for you and your researchers? Uh, well, we, uh, we want to take it further on and we want to diagnose, uh, do a population-based uh, survey and see how uh, robust this analysis is and then maybe we can uh, use it in schools and mm. at uh, clinical uh, places to diagnose and to detect autism. Yeah, fantastic stuff. All right, Sayed, we have to leave it there, but thank you so much for your time this thank morning. You. Thank you so much.